Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 23 September, it's a Monday. We got PMIs for France, Germany, Eurozone up today. Um, also for the US and the UK? No. Um, so PMIs for France. Germany, Eurozone, and the U.S. coming up. This should be a minor mover um, for Europe. Um, could be topside surprises is doubtful. A lot of downside is is uh, priced into these PMIs. Let's take a look at this Euro chart. We're still focusing on this Euro trend line, which is now just a little bit lower now, 70. Um, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, 70. So we're, we're still going to use these 76 highs to sort of give us a bullish slant on the euro. Right down here, we do nothing and we just wait for confirmation. We will trade the numbers if there's a big beat. Um, otherwise, we will just uh, be sitting tight with the euro dollar. It does look like Draghi is trading today, uh, is speaking today. Um, this is at uh, European Parliament in Brussels. So that'll be 3 p.m. Swiss time. So we'll keep an eye out for that as well. We have a whole load of other speakers, um, ECB's Lane, and then we have some U.S. guys, Bullard and San Francisco Feds. Daily is going to speak, but the main focus this morning is going to be on these European PMIs. Again, uh, we will trade these if there's a beat. Here's the hourly printed all the way down to 96 on Friday. Riddle me this: why? Why did that move happen? I do not know. Um, so I don't know. European Open, we should be between 20 and 30. We may buy some. It would be nice if we printed 40 and then had that as a pivot, but we will buy some on a big beat on PMIs. Otherwise, we sit tight and we wait for this trend line to go. And we'll use 76 as our bingo, as our bingo point. Cable's been up and down, up and down, up and down. Not much to do here. We're just waiting on, um, we're waiting on Brexit news. Um, Who knows with cable? I mean, a lot can happen. Weekly was an exact doji, so these parameters will be important now. 125.90 on the top side. Uh, we'll call it 124. The figure on the downside. It's really to 123.95. Uh, no dog in this fight. Not interested in cable today. Uh, so we'll see. There should be some stops below 124.35, but again. Not too much interest there. Dollar yen has crawled up a little bit because the China cancellation was supposedly to deal with a uh, not involving themselves in politics. It's a load of crap, obviously. Um, who knows what the truth is? Uh, so we'll just lean on what we know is that everybody's lying. Um, who knows? But dollar yen perked up a little bit on this. We went up to 75, but we're still still looking at the downside, and, and we don't believe um, that there's any progress on these trade talks. So 107.44 uh, looks next. You can sell rallies today between 90 uh, and the figure in dollar yen. Aussie bounced a little bit as well but no drama, but we've had three big red days. Um, this has been carried by straight Aussie dollar plus Aussie crosses. You know very well, Euro Aussie, one of our old favorites, is marching uh, north. 67.60, what do we do here? I don't know. We're, we're going we're gonna to look for consolidation in Aussie here. We won't be um, selling this anywhere close to where we are now. Our sell points are up at 68.30. We still like Aussie lower, but we're just patient today on what looks like to be a quiet Monday for Aussie, Cad, and Kiwi. 
CAD, middle of nowhere. We were at the highs, then we visited the lows. Oil's been flapping around. Uh, no trade here in CAD. I'll tell you what, though, these EM currencies, um, not doing too well. Zara getting smashed, traded all the way up to uh, 15. 15 handle there with the risk off on Friday. Has not come back a whole heck of a lot, 1490. Um, and if you look around and see what's happening in EM, see what's happening with the Swiss francs, see what's happening with the yen, um, you know, I wouldn't be bullish stocks. And it's hard to be bearish as we're so close to the um, all time highs, but. You know, we did move all the way up to 308 and a quarter overnight, but this looks like a fade to me. Uh, we're going to be trading this on the downside, and, and we're sharpening our knives for 2980, and we're going to treat this unusually as a break trade. Um, we rarely ever break trade S&Ps. We usually buy weakness or sell strength. Uh, but 2980 for us, we're going to have orders in, and we're going to break trade it. So... Keep an eye on this level, 29.80. What else is out there? Euro yen got its ass kicked on Friday. We actually got stung a little bit on this one. We thought this was going to head higher there for a while when we were between 25 and 35. We thought 40 was going to break. Um, we had this line drawn, and we were going to add up here. But uh, obviously it didn't happen. Now that comes in at 16. Um, just got crushed. This will be at the mercy of PMIs today. Um, based on Friday's action, you would just be like, I don't know, man. This looks like it's going lower. But sort of unexplained weakness in my mind in Euro Yen on Friday. Uh, not really sure what's going on there. 118.46, the low. You can kind of use 50 as your bull, as your, if you want to buy it. Um, but I wouldn't buy it. I would actually be more likely a seller through the lows now. Uh, look for more hysteria. But that was, uh, that was a weird one. This, um, this Euro Yen started. Euro dollar dragged it down. Then dollar Yen finished the job. Um, pretty bearish sequence there. Let's go to some of the things that have been paying off recently. Sterling Swiss now is consolidating here. Uh, we are buyers of this again at uh, 121, the figure. So core longs is the way. Looks like it's turning. So you can reduce your core longs a little bit with the hopes of buying, rebuying this back down at 121.15, sort of 121.15.30. Uh, Euro Aussie, not really similar. You just want to stay core long this. You can actually add through 163.08, which is now a pivot. You see these three lows over here. Low here, low here, low here. And now we have the high here from the 19th. Um, you can add at 163.02. I know that seems weird and awkward to a lot of you, but um, this looks like a... a a decent professional trade to us. You've got your core longs, you add here with a tight stop. If it works, great. If it doesn't, no drama. Uh, our target on this is, is 166, so you still have 300, 300 points to go. Uh, boons and bonds. Boons are crawling up. We're, we're selling this, um, as we've talked about jillion times. We'll be selling this when it gets to 50, uh, minus 55 basis points. So it's right here. We're down at 52. So three basis points we add to our shorts. Otherwise, we're core short boons. ZN, we sold 29s. Here we are at 25, but we're going to resell this also uh, 130.20. So short fixed income, long Euro Aussie, still long sterling swiss and then for today we're watching this euro dollar trend line and the pmis also fading stocks today so selling high ones and stocks 
and break trading on usually 29.80. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Good luck. Go ahead, make some dough today. I'll speak to you tomorrow.